In old Japan, there was a tradition that you would light candles when you told ghost stories. And with every story you told, you'd blow out one candle for every ghost mentioned. But when the last candle was blown out, then the spirits of the dead would come back into the room with you. One of the stories told in old Japan was of a very strange woman that would be seen on the road called Ki outside of Akasaka, weeping. How could you be so sad? What is it? What's wrong? And with that, she turned her face and looked up and revealed no eyes, no nose, no mouth a faceless woman on the side of the road. Evidently, the faceless woman didn't stay in Japan. The Honolulu Advertiser reported in May of 1959 that at the while I drive in, in Kahala, she made an appearance in the ladies' bathroom. Honolulu Advertiser reporter Bob Krause has a vague memory of that call which ignited Honolulu's most famous ghost. But as I remember, this came over the telephone. And I think I'd also been hearing about something, about, I'd been hearing uh, rumors about some strange thing like this. And it may have been that I was trying to track it down. That sounds logical too. Uh, in any event, I do remember that the, the person that had talked to me was a woman, uh, and I think it was over the telephone, and this was not a second-hand story. It was something that happened to her. She was telling it out of her own experience. One night, a woman using the woman's bathroom at the Wailai movie theater drive-in in Kahala was in at the basin washing her hands. Standing next to her had been a woman combing her hair. And the woman, in wearing a green evening dress, had been combing her long black hair down in front of her face. And she was bent over, combing the long black hair. And then she combed it back out of her face. Well, the woman washing her hands looked in the mirror to see who it was next to her. And that's when she realized that the lady combing her hair had no eyes, no nose, and no mouth. Well, she screamed and ran out of the bathroom, and when the management came back in, no woman without a face was inside that room. No one was inside there. It was an empty bathroom. Well, over the years, many, many people have called me to say that they have seen the woman with no face at the Wildlife Theater in the women's bathroom. Well, today, the YLI drive-in has been torn down. It is now a housing development. The faceless woman lost her bathroom. But from what I understand, there are quite a few ladies' bathrooms in public places around Oahu where she has found a new home. Another woman that has brought mystery to the Hawaiian Islands for centuries is Pele, the goddess of the volcano. For a Hawaiian perspective on Pele, here's Auntie Marie Solomon. Sometimes she comes in the form of a young woman. And then uh, if you're passing by, it always happens near uh, Saddle Road or near Humaula, Mauna Kea, along the center that's close to the volcanoes. And a lot of people have spoken about this, that they would see this young woman by the side of the road, and they would stop and pick her up. And she would get in the back seat. And this young man, he was riding down the road, and he forgot to ask her where she was getting off. So he turned around to ask, and there was nobody in the car. And he knew, so, oh, that must be Penny. And she also comes in the form of a, a very old woman. And um, the Hawaiians always believe that where, when there's an old woman standing by the side of the road or sitting, you must always pick her up 
because she may be panicked. So if you pick her up and she wants to go wherever she wants to go, you always put her in a car. Otherwise, things would keep happening to you. Uh, things would come in front of you that you cannot move or a fog would come and cover the road and you cannot see. So uh, the Hawaiians believe you always pick, pick up the old lady, no matter who. You know, you don't want to take a chance. We'll be back in just a moment with a modern day account of a run-in with Pele. I was rushing and I just picked up speed and then all of a sudden <laughs> I seen this smoke mist like, creeping up across the road yeah, heading towards the ocean side from mountain ocean and as soon as I entered it, it started to rock the van real hard like when I first entered it felt like I hit something and the van started shaking tremendously violently and, and then there was a couple seconds that I came right out and there was nothing it's still again it's just and I stopped the van and turned around and looked, what was that? You know, I was, was kind of like shaking. <laughs> I turned around, it was just that smoke just going across and it was just at a low level, maybe 10, 12 feet high. It was kind of wide, maybe about 20 feet wide. And it was creeping real slow. I said to myself, <laughs> I, was, that was, I mean, that was something. 